We are in love with this, sister, sister, Halloween costume. Jordan Thompson and her friend Lauren Rainey look exactly like Tia and Tamara Maori. Martha Stewart may have built a media empire and become the first female self-made billionaire in American history, but a new documentary proves people are still hungry for answers about her marriage and divorce that was finalized more than 30 years ago. Stewart, 83, opened up her personal archives, complete with diary entries and letters, to share the expansive story of her life like many have never seen or heard it before in a new eponymous Netflix documentary. The revelations from, Martha, have prompted a plethora of trending internet searches surrounding her marriage and divorce, net worth, prison stint and family. Stewart has lived an extraordinarily robust life with a career that has included time as a former Wall Street stockbroker, making a household name as a celebrated author and Emmy Award-winning television host, and handcrafting an omnimedia brand seemingly solely based on her personal presence that spanned generations and transcends cultural shifts. Martha Stewart talks crumbling of her marriage. Despite building a billion-dollar brand and publishing 92 books in the years following her 1990 divorce from Andy Stewart, Fans of the media maven are intrinsically curious about the hot topic of her marriage, which came to light again in the Netflix documentary. Stewart revealed that both she and her ex-husband, a publisher, had extramarital affairs while they were married from 1961 to 1990. While retracing the trajectory of their relationship, Stewart said in the documentary, he was not satisfied at home. I don't know how many girlfriends he had during this time, but I think there were quite a few. She admitted to also having a very brief affair with a very attractive Irishman, while living with her then-husband in New York City, but she said it was her husband who pushed for divorce after his highly publicized relationship with one of her ex-assistants. Young women, listen to my advice, if you're married and your husband starts to cheat on you, he's a piece of s, she said in the documentary. Get out of that marriage. Andy Stewart has not commented publicly on the documentary. That period of Stewart's life also brought her a daughter, Alexis Stewart, born in 1965. After Andy left, I really lost myself in work, the ideas for the future, and luckily I had them, she said in the film. I could have just been a miserable has-been housewife, but I didn't let that happen to myself, and I'm so happy I didn't. Martha Stewart criticizes results of documentary. Following the film's Netflix debut, Stewart sounded off on director R.J. Cutler in an interview with the New York Times. RJ had total access, and he really used very little, she said referring to Cutler's access to her archive. It was just shocking. The Times reported that Stewart spent nearly 30 inches uninterrupted minutes, critiquing the Oscar-nominated filmmaker during the interview. According to the outlet, Stewart said she thought Cutler spent too much of the documentary focused on her five-month prison sentence in 2004 for obstruction of justice and lying to federal investigators in connection with an insider trading case. It was not that important. The trial and the actual incarceration was less than two years out of an 83-year life. I considered it a vacation, to tell you the truth, Stewart told the newspaper. In a statement to the Times, Cutler said, I am really proud of this film, and I admire Martha's courage in entrusting me to make it. I'm not surprised that it's hard for her to see aspects of it. Where to watch the Martha Stewart documentary? Martha, is available now and streaming on Netflix. ABC News reached out to Stewart's representative and Cutler for comment but did not immediately hear back. Tia Maori. My next act, Tia reflects on her and Tamara's high school experience. In a recent interview promoting her new project, My Next Act, Tia Maori opened up about her and her twin sister Tamara's high school experience, offering fans a glimpse into the lives of the Maori sisters before they became household names. Known for their iconic roles in the hit show, Sister, Sister, Tia and Tamara have always shared a close bond, and Tia's reflections shed light on how their formative years shaped their paths in the entertainment industry. The High School Years Tia and Tamara Maori attended the same high school, where they navigated the complexities of adolescence while balancing their burgeoning acting careers. Tia recalled how their dual experiences both helped and challenged them during this pivotal time. High school was such a unique experience for us, she shared. We were trying to fit in like any other teenager, but we also had the pressure of being in the public eye. Despite their fame, the sisters made an effort to lead normal lives. Tia reminisced about participating in typical high school activities, from attending prom to joining clubs. However, she also acknowledged the challenges they faced, such as balancing homework with auditions and the scrutiny that came from being young actors. It was a lot to juggle, she said. But we leaned on each other for support. Finding their identity, 
Tia discussed how high school played a significant role in helping them find their identities, both as individuals and as a duo. The sisters often leaned on each other during moments of uncertainty, fostering a deep connection that has lasted into adulthood. Tamara and I always had each other's backs, Tia explained. That bond was essential, especially in a place where you're trying to figure out who you are. The Maori sisters often faced questions about their identity, particularly in terms of their mixed heritage. Tia reflected on how high school helped them embrace their unique backgrounds and fostered a sense of pride in their identities. We learned to celebrate our differences, she shared. It's something that has stuck with us throughout our careers. Academic Challenges and Triumphs In the interview, Tia opened up about the academic challenges they faced during high school. Balancing acting with schoolwork was no easy feat, and both sisters had to prioritize their education. There were times when we struggled to keep up, Tia admitted. But we always knew that education was important, and our parents instilled that in us. Despite the challenges, Tia and Tamara were determined to succeed academically. Tia recalled moments of late night studying and helping each other with homework. Their commitment paid off, as both sisters graduated from high school, a milestone that Tia described as one of the proudest moments of their lives. Navigating fame and friendship, as the Maori sisters gained fame, they also encountered the complexities of friendship and social dynamics in high school. Tia spoke candidly about the impact of their celebrity status on their relationships with peers. It was challenging at times, she said. Some people treated us differently because we were on TV, while others just wanted to be our friends because of that. Tia emphasized the importance of surrounding themselves with genuine friends who valued them for who they were, not just their fame. We learn to appreciate true friendships, the ones that were rooted in authenticity, she reflected. This experience laid the groundwork for how they would approach relationships in the future, both personally and professionally. The power of sisterhood. Throughout her reflections, Tia repeatedly emphasized the importance of sisterhood. She and Tamara have often credited their strong bond as a driving force behind their successes. Having Tamara by my side made all the difference, Tia said. We were able to share our dreams and challenges, and that made everything feel more achievable. Their relationship was especially beneficial during their time in high school. The sisters supported each other through ups and downs, and their shared experiences provided a sense of stability amidst the chaos of adolescence and fame. We were each other's confidants, Tia explained. That sisterly support has been the foundation of everything we've done since then. Looking ahead, as Tia reflects on her high school years, she acknowledges the lessons learned that continue to influence her life today. Now, as a mother herself, she is dedicated to imparting similar values to her children. I want them to understand the importance of education and the power of sisterhood, Tia said. Those lessons are timeless. In her new project, My Next Act, Tia aims to inspire others to embrace their journeys and navigate the challenges they face. Drawing from her own experiences, she hopes to encourage individuals to pursue their passions while remaining grounded in their values. Conclusion Tia Maori's reflections on her high school experience alongside Tamara offer valuable insights into the lives of two iconic figures who have navigated fame while maintaining their close bond. The lessons learned during those formative years have undoubtedly shaped who they are today, as both sisters continue to inspire others through their work and personal lives. Tia's journey serves as a reminder of the importance of education, genuine friendships, and the unbreakable bond of sisterhood, which will continue to guide her in the next act of her life.